so far we have done several things with lines and the linear functions. We have graphed linear functions, we have solved linear functions, and now we are going to start writing equations for linear functions. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to write an equation of a line given the slope and intercept. So we'll be giving lots of different information, but this specific lesson will be addressing if I'm given the slope and the intercept. All right, slope intercept form, hopefully you remember, is just y equals mx plus b. And if you recall, the m stands for the slope, or the constant rate of change that's going on in the problem. So what is a problem going up by or down by? And then B, if you recall, is just the y-intercept. Where does the problem start? Okay, when you're writing an, an equation in slope-intercept form, you pretty much just need to identify the M and identify the B, and then we're just going to write the equation. So this is just the very most straightforward of the types of equations that we'll have. Right, the first example, if you look at, we're going to have the slope being negative two-thirds and the y-intercept being one. So if I would like to write an equation of the line, remember slope is just my m, so this would be my m value, and the y-intercept is one, so that's going to be my b value. And if I have y equals mx plus b, my equation will simply be y equals negative two-thirds x plus one. Okay, problem number two. This time, let's have the slope be eight and the y-intercept be negative seven. Again, remember the slope is the m and the y-intercept is the b. And as soon as you have that, you pretty much are all set to solve the equation. So we're just gonna have y equals m, which is eight, x plus b, which is negative seven. So that's the equation of my line. Okay, the next one, let's say we have a slope of four and the y-intercept is zero. So again, my slope is my m and my y-intercept is my b. So if I write the equation of the line, I'll have y equals mx, so 4x plus b, plus b would be plus zero. So probably a cleaner way of writing this would be y equals 4x, right? If you take a look at example four, let's this time have the slope being negative one-third, and we'll have the y-intercept, whoops, actually, I don't want that on that one. Let's have a slope of zero this time, and we'll have the y-intercept being six. Okay, so again, this part is my m, and the y-intercept is my b. So when I go to write this, I'm gonna have y equals mx, which would be zero x this time, plus the b, and which would be six. Okay, and probably a cleaner way of writing this one, zero times anything is just zero, so we could simply write it as y equals six. All right, problem five, we're still trying to write an equation of the line. Please remember that we would like the slope and the intercept, so we want m and we want b. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do b first because b is where the graph is, the line is touching the y-axis and it looks like it's touching around one, so I'm gonna put my b as one. And then to get my slope, if you remember slope is equal to, if, especially if we're given a picture, it's equal to rise over run. So I'm going to draw myself a triangle here. Um, I think I'll draw this one right here, there we go. And you could draw triangles in different places, but I'll just go from there. So I notice <clears throat> if I count how many boxes this takes up, it's one, two boxes. And this one takes up one, two, probably about two boxes also, so it's two. Um, and so my rise over run is the rise is two and the run is two. And two divided by two reduces to one. And this line is going down, so its slope is going to be negative one. So if I have y equals mx plus b, my m is equal to negative one x, and then plus the b is equal to one. Right, and then problem six, if you want to try this one, that would be great if you wanted to just pause the video and see how you do on it and then come back and um, check it out. Um, again, on this one, I need my M and I need my B. Um, I'll start with the B. The B is where this, the black line is touching the, the Y-axis and it's touching down here at negative six, so I know my B is going to be negative six. And then once again, I'm going to draw a triangle. I'm going to put one right here, I think. It does have to connect two points that are on the line when you draw the triangle. Um, let me count how many boxes this takes up. One, two, three, four boxes. And this one takes up two. And if you remember the slope again is rise over the run. The rise was four boxes and the run is two boxes. And if I reduce that, it will reduce to two. If it doesn't reduce, then you definitely don't need to do anything with it. And I do notice that the line is going up, so it will be a positive slope. So when I do y equals mx plus b, my m I decided was two, so two x 
and then my b is negative 6, so I'll just put minus 6. You could also put y equals 2x plus negative 6 if you really wanted to. So hopefully now you can write an equation of the line if you are given the slope and the intercept.